learning basic AutoCAD for 21st century learners tutorials. The following videos are open to anyone at any level. Maybe CAD enthusiasts, would be CAD operators, or even novice users. You may use this as your guide in discovering or exploring AutoCAD as software as tool in developing your CAD projects. Introduction to CAD and AutoCAD software, some of the basic draw commands, as well as modify commands are comprehensively discussed in the presentation. You can play and pause the videos to furtherly understand the lesson. And don't forget to perform the tasks relevant to the lessons which will be shown after every video tutorial. This would be supplementary activities in enhancing and mastering your skills. In lesson 2 of the tutorials, discuss about some of the following draw commands used in completing your AutoCAD works. These commands commonly used to create drawing or start drawing, especially constructing 2D drawings. It includes polyline, x-line or construction line, ray, circle, rectangle, and polyline commands. Lines that extend to infinity in one direction, known as rays. Ray can be used as reference in creating other objects. In this tutorial, Ray Command plays important role to assist you in completing the task in your AutoCAD works. Sa paggamit ng command na ito, maaaring puntahan ang Home tab. Sa loob ng Draw Panel, makikita natin ang mga ibang drawing commands. Hanapin natin ang Ray Command icon. Just click this flyout and look for this icon, the Ray Command icon. Maaari rin i-type ang pangalan ng command. R-A-Y Bilang shortcut case na rin to. And after, press enter or space bar. This time, we need to specify the starting point. Sa paghahanap ng starting point, maaaring pumindot sa kahit saang parte ng drawing space. But if you need to plot in the coordinate plane, then you can enter the absolute values of the point. Press F8 to off the auto mode. Move the cursor. So at this point, click anywhere at the drawing space. Now, let's proceed sa through point. It will determine the direction ng magiging ray natin. Move again your cursor to locate your through point or if not, by typing the absolute coordinate values to position at its exact location. Let's start again. Type the name of the command, R-A-Y. Hit the spacebar or enter key. This time, type the absolute values, 4, 5, as the starting point. Move the drawing space using pan command to center the drawing. This time, we need to determine the next point. Click anywhere bilang through point. You can click many points as you want. Depende sa kung ilan ang kailangan nyo to complete your drawing. Ray can also serve as your guide in solving drawing problems. Mamaya, ipapakita ang halimbawa kung saan pwedeng gamitin ang ray at ang mismong ray command. Tanggalin muna natin ang mga rays na ginawa natin. Using again pan command, move the drawing space. Inisip ko na gusto kong gumawa ng box but in perspective form using two point perspective. At kapag sinabing two point perspective o tinatawag na angular perspective, ito ay may dalawang vanishing points. But in this example, ay di nito susundin ang technical na proseso sa paggawa but only use the concept of using vanishing points in creating perspective. In this practice, meron tayo ditong dalawang linya. The horizontal line that its opposite endpoints represent the vanishing points and the short line that serves as the height of the box. In performing this problem, we will also apply X line or construction line to create guidelines to solve the problem. Una, gamitin natin ang ray command to create ray. Type the command in the command window, then activate it by pressing the space bar or enter key. Pagkatapos, we need to start 
by specifying the starting point. Dito sa left end point ng linya na to, mag-uumpisa ang unang ray natin. Click the end point if the object snap ay activated na. But if not, press shift key plus right click the mouse. Then select the end point. Left click the left end point to specify your starting point. Move the mouse to the short line then start creating ray. Left click this point then do it again to the opposite point below. So tapos na tayo sa paggawa ng linya projecting from the left vanishing point to the height of the object. Press escape to end the command. Let's now create ray from right vanishing point to the height of the object. Move the drawing space using pan, press the scroll button then drag the mouse. This time, kung gusto natin na i-enter ang previous command, maaaring pindutin ang space bar or enter key para malimitahan ang time sa paggawa. Hindi mo na uulitin ang pag-type ng command o ang shortcut key nito. By simply pressing enter or spacebar key to enter the previously used command. Let's do the same kung ano ang ginawa natin sa kabila. Okay, so tapos na. Ngayon, determine natin ang width ng ating box. Bilang halimbawa, gamitin natin ang point of intersection na to as the end point ng width. So this line will represent as the width ng box. Parehas ng sa kabila, This point of intersection will also represent as the end point ng depth. So this line represent the depth ng kahon. Gawa ulit tayo ng guidelines in completing the drawing. This intersection will start the vertical line same on the other side of the box. Sa paggawa ng vertical lines, we will use X line or construction line command. Type the shortcut key XL, then press Enter or Spacebar key. Press Shift plus click the right button ng mouse to activate the object snap, then choose Intersection. Move the mouse to the point of intersection, then left click it. Press F8 to on the auto mode. Galawin ang mouse hanggang sa makagawa tayo ng vertical na linya. Then left click again. Press escape key to end the command. Gawin ito sa kabila. Press enter or space bar key to reactivate the command. Do the same steps. So ayan, nakita na natin na madali na mabuo ang box natin. Kailangan na lang gumawa ng linya simula dito sa intersection papunta sa right vanishing point o galing dito sa vanishing point na ito, papunta dito sa point of intersection. Same in this left vanishing point going to this intersection. So, gawa ulit tayo ng race. Ulitin ang mga prosesong ginawa natin sa paggawa ng ray. So that's it. Kitang-kita na ang box. Meron na itong taas, lapad, at kapal. Combining the use of ray and x-line command. Pero kung titingnan natin, hindi ito 3D model. Nag-create lang tayo ng illusion para magmukha itong 3D gamit ang ray at construction line. So this time, kailangan na lang natanggalin ang mga hindi kailangang mga linya to completely see the box alone. Sa mga susunod na mga videos, lalong-lalo na, Pagdating sa mga modify commands, ipapakita dito kung paano gamitin ang trim at erase commands. Sa ngayon, ipapakita ko lang sa inyo ng mabilisan kung paano ito gamitin. Maaari lamang natingnan ang mga susunod na mga videos. Ang paggamit ng trim command para alisin ang ibang mga parte ng drawing o portion ng linya at ang paggamit ng erase command to remove or delete lines or objects. Ayan, kitang-kita na natin ang box na ginawa natin. Through using ray command, can create perspective drawing and combining with other commands to perfectly convert our ideas into drawing. Isa lamang po yan sa mga gamit 
ng Rikuman para mabuo ang ating project. If you think this command could help you in completing your projects after studying the drawing problem, you may do so. Thank you.